my shoelaces are untied. Hey guys, it's Steph and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right now I am back home in Jersey. Obviously I've been living in NYC at college, but I'm here for Christmas break, which is exciting so I can be with my family. Today's video is a little different. I decided to do mostly on part of my sister asking for me to make this video. I decided to do a day in my life as a musical theater student in NYC at Amda, New York. It has some vlog aspects to it, but the main purpose of this video is to help potential students figure out if they actually want to come here by just sharing my own experience. It's been a little while since I actually filmed this video because I am just I take forever editing, so I've just been editing for the past two days. Before we jump into the day in my life, I want to remind you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to click the little notification bell. And remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. So with all that said, please enjoy the video. Alright, so my Tuesday classes do start a little bit later than um, on my other days, so I do get to sleep in a little bit. Not a whole lot, but I do get to sleep in, and after getting dressed and packing my bag, I'll head out. Today was a really, really gorgeous day. Um, it is becoming fall, um, so the leaves are changing, but it's not too cold yet. And if I'm not grabbing something from my dorm, I'll treat myself to something from Muffins. It's less than a 60 second walk away from the dorms and it has literally everything you could ever want. It's so delicious and I love getting bagels from there specifically. I love their bagels. After getting my bagel, I'll head out and I really love this area. The Upper West Side is super, super gorgeous. And here's me eating my bagel. It was really good. <laughs> Even though it is super early, it's 8 a.m., it is still NYC, so there's always gonna be people and cars and stuff. But if I'm by myself especially, I really enjoy these walks in the morning because it's sort of like a peaceful moment for me before I jump into classes and jump into the hecticness that can be school. Um, so I really, really like taking my moment during that walk. in Columbus Circle which is really really gorgeous and now it's I can walk um what street am I on on those days where you leave a little late and you're walking faster those days hurt Another cool thing about my walk to 54th is that there's a theater right next to that building. Um, right now, they're showing Caroline or Change. Um, when I was recording this, the show hadn't opened yet, um, but since then, it has opened. There were a ton of celebs there, and it, it's, a, it's a great show. Um, and I also get to walk past right next to that theater, 54th Below, another kind of famous nightclub cabaret spot. Um, so it's cool to pass by those famous places. Um, and sort of get inspired. Here I am in my practice room that I had booked. There's a lot of practice rooms here and there's a lot of people that want to practice. So as awesome as these rooms are, they're in high demand all the time. So um, like this practice room is currently Tuesday. I had to go like onto the website on Sunday um, to make sure that I would have a room for today. Someone left their stuff in here, but. Um, this is like a multi-use studio space, so if it's a studio, there's going to be a mirror so that if you're dancing, you can see yourself dance, right? <laughs> there's also going to be these prop things. There's literally a door and then those three block things, they are in every single, almost every single room. They're everywhere. Um, and then because it's multi, you can also use it for singing, so there is a piano. There we go. There's a piano here, 
and whenever there is a piano, I want to play it. So that's probably what I'm gonna do before warming up and singing because I don't have any singing classes today, but um, if you close with me, you know that I am a hardcore singer. I have to be singing all the time. Singer first. Eh. Also, the acoustics in this room are really, really lovely. They're lovely. So I'm gonna start practicing. I'm gonna film some of it. So here we go. Interrupting my rehearsal. Hello, how may I help you? We should probably work on our scene. Ready? Stay. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to rumble? I'm here with Tess. It's a grandma teacher. Oh, I have to talk for the whole No, shut up. Sam is supposed to be, no, she's supposed to be on vocal rest. I promise I'm not an anti-master. So just wave, just, just wave to the, wave to Hello. the camera. Thank you. There's <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> wave to the camera. Hi. She was like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be. You should, you should do um, like a really stupid, weird thumbnail and be like, we almost died, not clickbait. With Sam's choreography, ready? Okay, ready? We are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams. World losers and world forsakers on whom the pale moon gleams. Yes, we are the movers and shakers of the world. Forever, it seems. Wow. No, because I was watching. This is Sia, aka Blue Arms. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Period. Yeah, no, <laughs> she I is helping me learn like, Spanish. Yes. I will. Mira, ready? Yeah. Okay. Te amo, Lucy. <gasps> okay, I'm melting. Oh, she's my heart. Are you doing it for her or like for YouTube? For YouTube. Oh my God. We got, we got. Now we have a YouTube. Okay, I have to talk about the class then. <laughs> We are about to do voice production and speech, and we are all presenting today. We have to wear form-fitting clothes so that she can check our spinal alignment. 
and Young pass <laughs> and pass the class. But we're also gonna do a warm up in this class. We do a lot of meditating, so hopefully we do some of that and have some fun. Two hours later. VPS is over and everyone did great in their Ooh. performances. We have not met Finny yet. Oh, hi. This is Finny. What is this for? This is Finny. Hello. Say hi, Finny. Hi. This is for my YouTube channel. Oh my god. I'm gonna be famous. I'm kidding. I have 32 subscribers, right? Oh my god. 32. Oh! Say hi, hi, my name is Akala Ayanda. Yes, I'm a student at Yanda, and I'm 19 years old. Don't put your whole personal information. My social security number. <laughs> what else should I, I say? Ooh, my Instagram is. Oh my, <laughs> my Instagram is I am Akala, spelled A K A L A. Yeah, check out your girl. Okay, so we are on our way to acting class, which is on 73rd Street. Um, but I have to stop by my dorm to get all of my acting props because I have a lot of them today. <laughs> um, and our acting class is in the Ansonia, which is like the nicest building. Today is the only day we go to that building. So, yeah. I'm vlogging now. This is my channel. It's me, me and Sam's channel, although Sam can't talk. And if she talks, we have to kill her. Tess and has Sam, the best Sam, smile. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. She has such nice teeth. <laughs> it's down here. We'll take um, at the next stoplight. I think. What are you doing? This is not vlogging. It's whatever I want it to be. Vocal. Smashed the baby on vocal rest, but pressed it isn't. For those of you that don't know, Preston is Samantha's alter ego. <laughs> uh, my name is Preston. I have um, a walnut farm in Arizona. Uh, I run it with my partner who sells me tractors named Clayton. What's going on, Clayton? I miss you. You better stay the f away from Stacy. She's mine. Anyways, passing it back on to Steph. I thought my name I'd is Steph. Oh, look at this stuff. Steph's gonna hate this vlog. Do something. Look at Steph eating a bagel. <laughs> Cream cheese all over her mouth. My turn. Yay. Hey. Oh my god, this lighting kind of cute or whatever. I look kind of crusty though. Um, where are we going? We're going to my coffee. Hi, mom's Your coffee shop? Can I see the coffee man? Your coffee shop? Your coffee man. My coffee man. My, my coffee, man. My, my coffee, my coffee man. card. I thought I was getting used to all the weird New York stuff, but obviously I'm not. <laughs> Okay, ballet dancer. <laughs> As you see, we are very talented. It's so cold. And Sam doesn't have a coat on. She's gonna die of pneumonia. And I won't die of pneumonia because I have a coat on and I have gloves, but I don't have a hat and I don't have a scarf or ear gloves. And I kind of wish I did right now. But it's okay. We're walking across. We're doing it. Oh no. Can I get extra bread? That's an appropriate amount of cream cheese right there. It's I'm like drowning in cream cheese. Yeah, as you should be. There's like cream cheese like spilling out the back too that you don't see. Love. Love. Live laugh. Lovely. Yeah. Yours. Do that again. We are the dreamers of dreams. <laughs> the wandering by lone <laughs> sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams. Whatever. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go next. They didn't say I did it. Oh, right, right. right. Yo, hey, yo, Tess, get your girl. Get your what? friend. She's singing and talking. It's your turn. Hi. I eat my bagel. Oh, Hola, take the phone. Oh, she said, take the phone. Take the phone. You're uh -huh. so aggressive. Uh -huh. she, get your friend, Sophie, because she's so Hi, aggressive guys. and mean. Please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. I won dollars. <laughs> she's special. That's food. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It looks oh hell yeah! Where'd you? How much was it? I know. Yeah. Like three seventy-five. Oh, oh my! My skin looks so good. I know, right? It's it's right. right. I know, no. The like lighting is just really yeah. good. Look at exactly. that Toy Story clouds. That's what I. I need and to there, eat. there is Lincoln Center, which we pass almost literally every day. 
Yes, they are currently doing you ready to see stupid truck is in the way. Big Apple Circus right behind it. But there's Lincoln Center that we pass all the time. See, there it says Lincoln Center. Taylor Swift was there like three days ago. Wow. And I had no clue. So I missed her. Alright, so I am back in the strat. I'm currently in the elevator. Um about to go back to my dorm to get my props and get into costume for acting. So plug for the vines that you're seeing up there, they look kind of they look kind of bad on this camera. They look cuter in person, but I did them yesterday and I am in love with them. Okay, let me get changed. All right, now I get to walk down the streets of New York with a pillow under my armpit because an Anna scene takes place in a bedroom and you lose points if you forget, if you forget to bring a prop. So, uh, pillow it is. Vlogging, so uh, no, she, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. Look at that. Hi, this is Diane. Oh, hello. She missed our first class. I did. Why? I, um, for reasons that probably should not go up on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Diane. You're very welcome. How are you feeling today? I'm pretty good. Um, I'm hungry, but. <laughs> So we're in the acting room and we're about to do our demos. Um, a lot of us get super stressed about demos. Mostly me, I get super stressed about demos. Um, but that's just me overthinking. So we'll all do great and yeah. Two hours later. Okay, so we just left acting class and we all did our demo and I think everyone did really great. What do you think, Joy? I think we did awesome. She thinks we did awesome and we are meeting Joy for the first time. <laughs> so introduce yourself, Joy, to the Hi, vlog. Hi, I'm Joy and I'm awesome. Y'all should know that. Or if you can't tell. <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> Goodbye. Joy will not be included in the YouTube. <laughs> You're going to cancel my character? Yeah. yeah. Joy Aubrey canceled. I'm still here with my pillow. My shoelaces are untied. My shoelaces are untied. Ooh. The sky is so pretty. What happened? <laughs> Yeah, she threatened to pull a sue on me. <laughs> <gasps> on you? A uh, sue. Yeah, Anna go on, did. Sophie. <laughs> on, so. <laughs> Look at her just walking. <laughs> blah, blah. Yeah. You're out of shape? Huh? Question mark? I said question mark. You're out of shape? Question mark? Of course I'm out of shape. Of course. Why, why is that of course? So I am back in my dorm, yay! Tuesdays, which is the day I'm filming this, is the only day where I have a virtual class. It's like an English class and our teacher is in LA, so it makes sense that it's virtual. So usually when I leave in the morning, I'm not coming back until super late, um, but today 
is the exception to that. So in this class, we're basically just writing a research paper. Um, most people do it on a musical, like a production of some sort, but you can also do it on like a video game or a movie. I know we have like some TV shows. And I am doing my research paper on the movie Luca, right? The Disney Pixar movie Luca. It's like my favorite movie right now. And I was like, I could talk about this forever. So I'm writing my essay on how queer audiences in general could just be so desperate for any type of representation that we're willing to make a movie that could very well just be about two young boys in a platonic relationship queer or you know is it like uh, was it queer baiting on behalf of pixar you know it's just something complicated like that and i wanted to put in to my essay about how luca and alberto were like anti-capitalists um but we're not there yet so we'll see <laughs> we'll see if we get there so yeah this class i am doing in the comfort of my bed basically my bed is like I sleep here, I eat here, I study here, I literally do everything in this bed. So during this class, I'll usually have snack. So today, I will be eating my chocolate, my chocolate Maria cookies. My class is about to start, but I just want to talk about, first class I went to was at the 54th Street building. It was called Voice Production and Speech. So at Voice Production and Speech this morning, she had given us a poem to sort of analyze. She wanted us to create some context to speak it in, but she's grading us on things like spinal alignment, projection, articulation so that we kind of have like a really good centered alignment and a really clear and loud default speaking tone so that when we do go to places like acting class and we're doing etudes or scenes or whatever we don't have to think about the technical stuff and we can just focus on the creative stuff which goes into after vps we had acting and we're working on etudes they're really super short you have to create the context around you know the scene so everyone's scene is um kind of unique and different which is cool but we're really focusing on being really authentic and real she does not want us like cheating out or anything which is also cool um but it's also tricky because part of you is like okay in the moment in real life how would i act but then you're still performing so you still have to project and you still have to you're not cheating out but you can't face away from the audience there's kind of a little contrast there that like we're all working through but it's fun it's exciting and um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go jump onto this english class soon now do you guys like the leaves i put up they're brand new no but okay <laughs> i'm gonna cry i was just thinking those are cute thank you <laughs> sam Thank you. When I edit this, I'll put like hearts around Sam's name. And then... That's right. Okay. How does it feel, Anna? No. <laughs> Stephanie out here acting up. <laughs> the teacher just entered the call while she was talking about me. According to Freud's version of the Oedipus myth, at, cer at a certain point, the boy develops an unconscious erotic attraction to the mother. Right, boys fall in love with their mother, but finds the father barring his way to satisfaction. Dad says, no having sex with your mother. However, when he discovers that women do not have a penis, he assumes that his mother was punished by castration, right? Oh, mom doesn't have a penis. Somebody must have cut it off. Now he thinks he might be punished in the same way if he persists with his unconscious desire for his mother. I sort of suspected that this would happen. that it would be dark by the time the class was over. And that's exactly what happened. So during the class, I just sort of gradually got darker. It's a funny class sometimes. We have a lot of fun in that class. <laughs> um, I'm laughing, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay, I'll explain it. Our teacher was having an allergy attack and he was like, God, I need my inhaler and stuff. And then a call, <laughs> he coughed one time. <laughs> I coughed one time and a call up put in the chat. Got your inhaler, Mike? But yeah, I'm gonna turn on the light, first of all. I'm gonna change it to more comfy clothes and then I'm gonna go to the 61st building, which is a brand new building. 
that you haven't seen yet for our musicianship class. And this class is basically gonna be our sight singing class, okay? So I'm gonna go get ready. Oh, this lighting is oh, terrible. <laughs> but we have yet to meet Yana. <gasps> Hi! Introduce yourself to the vlog, Yana. Um, I'm Yana Ebbing. I'm a first semester student at Todd. I still don't know how to ride a bike and I'm 17. <laughs> I'm 20. Why don't you know how to ride a bike? Because my parents never taught me. Me too. Um, I hope you know, learning to ride a bike is a very valuable skill. It's horrible and I won't do it. This is it's for? fun. It's, so it's fun. for my it's YouTube awful. channel. Oh, nice. She is a dancer. Hi. She's a really good dancer. I want to not to say a conduit. <laughs> I, I don't know that 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 song. One hour later. Anyways. Ah! Back to the vlog, I call it. Vlog. <laughs> Boy, cool. God, why are you so aggressive? Because I'm so upset. Why? Because I'm so stressed. We Over. The acoustics in the staircase call for siren songs. Ready? So we're gonna go. Oh my God, Stephanie. Ooh. Okay. So me and Anna are now walking back to the dorms from musicianship. Yeah. And we did some sight singing, which was fun for me. I found it fun. Some people did not find it fun, but I found it fun. Now we're gonna stop by the dorms real quick, get a little more comfortable, and then we're gonna go to the diner for dinner. Yeah, Hi, it's Steph from the future again. So basically at this point, I decided to go out to the diner with some of my friends. It is the end of my academic day, and I, for some reason, recorded like so much of that diner footage. So if I added it to this video, this video would be like 10 minutes longer and I want to avoid that. So instead, I'm just going to put some bonus clips from the diner. And if you made it this far, I really want to give you a huge thank you because this video took so long and so much time and effort and blood and sweat and tears. So thank you for staying this far and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it educational. I hope you found it funny. And again, I'm just going to remind you that if you did enjoy it, please subscribe and hit the little bell. Please give this video a thumbs up. And now I'll shut my mouth. Please enjoy these bonus clips and I'll see you guys in the next video. It's Pam. Um, welcome to New York. Everyone's a crackhead in their own special way. I love it here. I said we don't go to college. We go to extra high school. We're gonna run in front of traffic. Sir, for a dollar, three. name a celebrity you hate. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal! Ah! Rockettes for life! Oh, Rockettes for life. Rockettes for life. Rockettes for life. Because I was doing Italian pot of shells. Do you know what those are? No. How's the food, Stephanie? I'll add Nick and Thomas. No, you. <laughs> oh, you can't force me to do this stuff. And I'm dying. Thomas. I'm not filming you. I'm filming you. Please. Do you want me to film you? Hang on. Do you smile? Uh, Stephanie actually threatened my life. <laughs> if you look up, you see a tall building. Uh huh. That tends to happen. <laughs>